Bell Mine Trail. Uh, this one's pretty simple, 1.5 miles, a little under 400 feet elevation. Um, it's pretty, but I feel like every hike, just about every hike at Joshua Tree has the same exact landscape. <laughs> Desert. Uh, there is a few more wildflowers right now, just because we've had a lot of rain, but other than that, nothing too, too exciting. The mines are pretty cool at the top, and I'll get to that in a second. So those are the trail details. You can choose to do Silver Bell and Golden Bell Loop. There were folks based on the reviews that didn't fully recommend that. I do recommend that you at least go a little bit further than the mines because there's some really awesome views on the other side of the mountain. All right, so how to get there is actually a little bit tricky because it's just a pullout, right? And that's kind of how a ton of hikes at Joshua Tree are. I'll put it up on the video here, but it's basically on the way to Cottonwood. But we came in through the north entrance and it just connects to the trail that takes you all the way down to the south entrance. You pass, I believe White Tank is probably the closest. I'll show it on the map here. And then it's a pullout. You'll see the sign for the Silver Bell. And then if you look up, on the mountain, you'll actually see kind of the old uh, framework of what used to be there, right? So that's how you know where you're going. The trail is really easy to follow. Trail details, as I mentioned, trail's pretty flat early on. You're kind of walking through, I guess, like I said, right now it is more beautiful because there are some wildflowers like these, but it's nothing too exciting. And then once you get to the actual mountain is where the whole 400 feet is. It's maybe half a mile. I'll show it on the video here as well. Pretty easy. Um, dogs, obviously, no, you're inside a national park. Can't do that, even though I literally just walked by two dogs. And kids, you can, but it is a little bit loose. These rocks, they're, it's a little bit loose, so I would just make sure you're careful and maybe you're holding onto your kid's hand for some pieces of it. Early on where it's flat, it's no big deal, but here on the mountain piece, it's the rocks are just very, very loose. This is a quick and easy hike. That was the goal. We camped, we explored, we wanted to do at least one hike before we went home, uh, one and a half miles see the mines was it's pretty awesome so definitely recommend if you're looking for something really simple and something maybe you can teach the kids and have them learn a little bit i'll put up rather than me reading it i'll put up the picture of the sign of silver bell where it gives you a little bit more information about the mining that was happening here i think it's pretty cool feel free to end the video or read through it pause read through it whatever you guys want and with that i'll see you guys next week